Hey Nas lovers, on this video I wanted to talk about several ways how to reduce the noise levels on your Synology NAS or back QNAP NAS. The first uh, option would be uh, giving it a good clean, so dismantling the unit or using a spray uh, dust cleaner type thing or you open it up and then clean it with um, uh, a fabric or something. So that would be one way of um, reducing the noise a little. Uh, the other thing is you can go into settings, QNAP Synology allows that to change the fan speed. So you can go for slow speed, medium speed and um, high speed. I'll set for automatic based on, on temperatures uh, detected inside the NAS. So that will be other option how to reduce the noise. Uh, the other option will be setting up power schedules. So if, you, for example, if you're not using NAS during the day, you can go into settings and set up automated power on in a um, evening or in the morning and automatic power off. Uh, again, in the morning, evening, whatever, whatever hours you choose, you can just set that automatically to shut down and, and power on. Um, then there will be the expensive way of um, doing if, if your hard drives are generating the noise instead of fans, you could replace them with uh, SSDs. Um, but we're going to focus more on fans. So the, the last option, what figure that you could do is change your fans. So instead of having some cheap fans, there is something called um, Noctua fans like that. They're they're not very cheap, but they are still affordable. You can get for some like fifteen to twenty dollars for a fan. I have a page created, I'll share that with you where you can see what sort of fan would fit in which NAS, so we'll have full list of uh, NASs and with uh, the size of the fan you can put in there and how many pins, how many, what sort of connector you will need. So what you get with these units is they are really, really quiet, really, really quiet, um, the fans weighs in this case, I'm going to be upgrading the 718 uh, Plus. So there's going to be some three pin connectors. Uh, you also get in the package uh, other sort of uh, standards for pins if you need that are smaller or wider. And yeah, I'll put on a, on a screen uh, the noise levels you could hear with the original fans, and then you'll hear how how different it sounds with this Nokia Noctua. Uh, fans. I'll just go ahead now and dismantle the unit and put the fan in. Make sure the label is facing against.
So now I have upgraded the pan with a new silent pan and uh, what I can say is that it's not as silent as I was hoping for on this desktop unit because it is metal ch chassis based uh, model so it means that the sound bounces around all the metallic uh, casing so that that affects a lot but it has it is slightly uh, quite quieter than it used to be but what I have heard really the success stories uh, with Rackman series now is when they replace those fans because those fans are really like an airplane taking off <laughs> and when they replace those they they, they do give it uh, really good feedback so what I would say is that if you have plus series in metallic case probably it's not going to be helping that much with uh, noise reduction if it's in plastic like DS118 or DS218 plus or another plastic based models then it certainly will help because there will be no echo, there will be no sound bouncing around the case inside. Uh, I hope this was helping you to understand how these fans work and are they going to be in any way helpful to, re to replace, is it going to make any big difference. So I hope this was helpful. If you have all, any questions, you can always go to NASCOMPAIRS, fill the form, uh, send the email to info NASCOMPAIRS. Um, or leave a comment underneath the video and if the question will be interesting we can shoot video like this so we can help you and we can help others too. Cheerio!